Promise and Falco, written and told by Tyler Wyshudik. Ben was pleased after Thomas saved him from the water, and after a while, Thomas was back on his branch line again. One day, Thomas was waiting at a station for another engine to arrive, but it was getting late. This made him cross. This better not be happening again after Henry was late due to my train for the timetables, he said severely one morning. But I hope there's another engine coming, and it better not be Henry again. He is too fat and slow, and he needs exercise. It's okay, Thomas, said Annie, but you should care that Henry is feeling ill. Why should I care, asked Thomas crossly. Well, you see, Thomas, added Clarabelle, when people get ill, you should feel bad for them, or feel pity for them. Oh, right, said Thomas. His cheeks turned red as James's or Bertie the Bus's paint. Just then, a green diesel came with the coaches. Hello, I'm Boko, he said. You must be Thomas. How'd you know my name? he asked. Well, the engines told me about you. Hey, wait a minute. Are you trying to be devious like Diesel did to Duck? What? No. What are you talking about? asked Boko. He was confused. I was shunting trucks by timid sheds. But then I saw Diesel in the shed being scolded by Sir Topham Hat. And you know what Diesel did? He tells lies to the trucks from Duck. But Duck didn't do it. He was innocent and he's not guilty. He was been sent away because of Diesel. And you know, Diesel is in denial. You're not trying to be in denial and do it like he does, are you? What, me? Scout Boko. You think I was going to do something? I would never do such thing. Well, I don't believe you. But I'd like to see you try or prove it. And he puffs crossly away. What's the problem or matter with him? Boko asked himself. Like, what's the point? I don't understand, Edward, said Boko severely that evening. He gave me a scowl look, and he was talking severely to me. He acts like he's in denial. I'm sure you don't mean it, said Edward. Thomas doesn't mean Diesel's before when he came to the island that year ago. He's kind or a very kind engine. Well, I sure hope so, said Boko to himself. The next day, when Boko was carrying quarry trucks to Nafford Harbor, when he saw Percy and Toby looking very annoyed. Well, 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 here comes the devious bus box Diesel, who wants to cause trouble on the island of Sodor, scowled Percy. And he wants to be lazy and tell lies, Toby scowled. What's the matter and problem with you two? Boko said severely. I am not here to cause trouble like Diesel. I am here to do work and be really useful. Now if you excuse me, I have to be on time. I'm not going to argue with you two, and I don't want to be late. This made Percy and Toby cross. That night, Thomas, Percy, and Toby had an indignation meeting in the shed. That Boko is just a stupid bus box diesel, Thomas Gow. He is, or this is, disgraceful. Disgusting, said Percy. Despicable, said Toby, and we cannot allow it. You three, there's no reason to act like that to Boko, Daisy said. And you three are acting like Gordon, and James, and Henry. Yeah, right. It's not our fault that Boko wants to came to the island. Well, it's not like it's our fault. Thomas, Percy, and Toby went crossly to sleep, leaving the stern Daisy behind. The next morning, Sir Topham had told Thomas and Percy to shunt those trucks for Boko, so that Boko could take those trucks to the Figurage Orchards to collect the apples, to take them to Nafford Harbor when the children were waiting at the platform. Then, Thomas and Percy had an idea. And then, they whispered to the trucks. Psst, hey you trucks, said Thomas quietly. Me and Percy want you to push Boko down the hill while you get to the top. And remember, or let me remind you, added Percy. We will, said the trucks. We'll keep it in mind. When Thomas and Percy got the trucks in line, Boko came to take them. And then when Boko leaves, Thomas and Percy winked at the trucks. And then the trucks winked them back. But Boko didn't notice. When Boko reached up Gorn's hill, the trucks hold him back. Hold back! Hold back! They yelled. Oh! Oh! Boko cried. Hey, you! You trucks better stop that! I will not tolerate your behavior like this! As you wish, Bogo, nicked the trucks quietly.
boat go straight and heave, and then they reached the top. But then, it happened. Now, said the truck, and then they pushed Boko down the hill. Whoa! Stop! Stop! He cried. When he reached the harbor fast, he applied the brakes, but it was no use. He slid into the sea. Bottoms from my box! exclaimed Boko, bubbling in the sea. Soon, Edward came to pull Boko out of the sea. What happened, Boko? Why did the trucks push you? I don't know, said Boko. Edward glared to the trucks. But the trucks told Edward about Thomas and Percy about what they said to them. Edward scowled. Wait until I tell the top of hand about this. I'm afraid he did. Thomas, Percy, I am very disappointed and very displeased with you two, he said firmly. What you did to Boko with the trucks is unacceptable. We're sorry, sir, Thomas said sadly. We just don't like that Buzzbox Diesel named Boko. He might cause trouble, added Percy. And that's why we need to teach Boko a lesson with the trucks. Well, I do not stand with this deceitful behavior like this, he added firmly. Furthermore, he is not here to cause trouble. He is here to help us out and be a really useful engine from our railway. You two are going to stay in the sheds and think about what you did until I say you can come out so you can behave. Understood? Yes, sir, they said sadly, and he walked firmly away. Boko stopped at the last station to drop the passengers off at the platform. Thomas and Percy spoke to Boko. Boko, we're sorry that the way we treat you and to teach you a lesson, Thomas said. And, added Percy, we are disarmed. You're not here to cause trouble. We are wrong. You are here to help us out and be a really useful engine to our railway. That's okay, smiled Boko. I'm glad that you apologize. If you two have bad days and have problems, you come and get me so I can help you and make you feel better. And let me be honest with you. I'm not going to cause trouble forever, no matter what, like the other Diesels did. And that made Thomas and Percy feel content.